Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is in response to a comment from one Justin Allen. But before we get to that, I just wanted to do a little disclaimer. Um, everything that I say and share in my videos is, well, obviously it's based on my personal opinion, but also based on how I personally use Unreal Engine and Xsymmetry. And I mostly use it for live production, live virtual events, such as like esports or corporate events. Um, all the events, all the productions are live. So, you know, it's streamed on Facebook, it's streamed on uh, YouTube and so on. Uh, because before I got into virtual production, I was actually in the live streaming service business. So, you know, the classic multi-camera. So if you had a sports event, you know, my team will come in with the multi-camera and we would help uh, them stream such event. But then COVID came and obviously there were no more events with all the restrictions and all that. So we switched to virtual productions, but we continued focusing on live virtual production. So with that said, it means that I may not be the best source of information to share tips on virtual productions, which are more offline. I mean, like, you know, like films or TVC production commercials and video clips because I haven't really done much of those. So I'm mostly focused on live events, broadcasts if you could call it. Um, so with that said, you know, that is the fact and I will be answering the uh, questions from Justin Allen based on those facts. Let's get to it. All right, so from Justin Allen, another great video. Thank you very much. I'm wondering if you could do a basic asymmetry overview video and show the menus and options as well. I will be doing a full long tutorial from like how to make a virtual set and then get into uh, asymmetry and all that. So I think all that will be covered uh, then. Um, what makes it different from Unreal? Okay, so maybe if some of you don't know, asymmetry has two types of software, right? The SE and DE. I think the DE is dual engine and the SE, I'm not sure, but I'm guessing it's single engine. Maybe I could be wrong. Um, but anyway, the SE version, it's using its own uh, engine that Xymmetry developed themselves. The dual engine version is the one that's uh, leveraging on Unreal Engine's engine, right? So I am actually an Xymmetry DE user. I'm not that knowledgeable in using the Xymmetry SE because I've been using the DE since the first time I got into virtual production. So answering the question, what makes it different from Unreal? I can't really say because it's one and the same. So, you know, I'm using Aximetry with Unreal. So it's together. So I can't really differentiate it. If you're asking what's the difference between Unreal Engine and the Aximetry's engine, that's also not something I can really talk about because I'm not really familiar with the Aximetry SA. But I've heard that, um, you know, if you want to get into the SE, there's a lot of uh, pros as well. But of course, there are pros and cons in doing uh, and using both. So, on the top of my head, with the E, with the DE, because you're using Unreal Engine, you can make like really, really like big sets and have your sets with like uh, immersive and all that kind of stuff. Which is in SE, you're more limited into like the studio space, like for like news broadcastings and things like that. But with that said, I've actually seen some pretty cool. stuff stages using the native engine which were really epic i saw one at the nab they were showcasing one and it was like there were like whales floating around and all that so it's still like really really good but uh, i'm going to be focusing on the unreal one because that is the one i'm using anyway let's continue the question and there is not much if anything out there that does this yes okay so i'll be making those tutorials soon i have talked with multiple people about asymmetry and i'm told I need to buy it. But being very, very new to Unreal and virtual production, I'm still struggling with what Aximetry gives me. This is a very, very good question. And this is the question that drove me to actually make this video. Why? Because three years ago, when I just wanted to get into virtual production, I was asking myself the exact same thing, right? So I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I, oh, this virtual production thing is so amazing. What do I need to get started? Where do I start and all that? And okay, Unreal Engine, right? Okay, that's, I need to learn Unreal Engine. That's one, that was set in stone. 
but then there's Eximetry. So why do I need Eximetry? How does it work with Unreal Engine? What is its job? Why do I need to buy it? How do they fit together? I was asking myself all that. So actually this video is sort of like me talking to my past self, telling him, yo dude, this is why you need to get Eximetry. All right, so I made a little drawing here to sort of try and explain this the easiest way possible. And on your left, there is a PC, a desktop, and on your right, there is a console. Now, I know this is just on the top of my head. This is the things that come into mind when you're asking me what I'm using Unreal Engine for and what Eximetry is for. So for live production, right? Unreal Engine for me is the pre-production. It's where I build my set, uh, my environment, set up my triggers, my light shows, everything. And then, because on the day of the live event, I'm using Eximetry for the actual production. So the cameras gets connected into the set in Eximetry. The camera movements are all taken care of in Eximetry. Everything that has to do with the actual production. You see underneath, I have like develop and play. So in Unreal Legend, I'm developing it. And in Eximetry, I'm playing the level because, you know, Unreal Engine is a game engine, right? Um, so it's where you develop your set. And actually, when you're opening it in Eximetry, you're sort of like playing it, right? You're playing this uh, sort of level or game that you made in Unreal Engine and you're playing it in Eximetry. And there's words like build and showcase, same thing. I'm building the environment in Unreal Engine and then I'm showcasing it to, well, the world, to my stream, to my broadcast in Eximetry. All right, so for me, that's how uh, I use the two softwares, right? Unreal Engine for building and the uh, Eximetry for the production. Now, the big question is, do I need Eximetry? Do you need to buy it to be able to do a production? And the short answer is no, right? Um, if you wanted to just use Unreal Engine for your production, that's totally possible. So I have friends who own studios who only use Unreal uh, Engine. They don't use Eximetry. They plug in their camera directly to Unreal Engine using N Display and all that, and they create some really awesome stuff. Right, but again, that is for video production, for something that's offline, that's going to be edited later on. Now, what about for lives, for live events, right? Broadcasting like new stuff, corporate stuff. Can you just use Unreal Engine? Again, the short answer, yes, you could. But is it as easy and simple as when you're using Eximetry with Unreal Engine? Hell no. <laughs> so for someone like me who doesn't know how to code and develop stuff, I got no ID, ID background. And I mean, like you could probably make anything with Unreal Engine, right? You could make like a program and, and all that, and you could build an entire like production program with it probably if you knew what you were doing. But the most of us, for the most of us humans out there who just want to, you know, like do a production without having to like think too much and fiddle too much, Eximetry is a... It's fantastic because you can just focus on building an Unreal Engine and then the production in Eximetry is you know, so easy. You just plug in your cameras, uh, set your inputs, place your actors in it, and you're done and you're good to go. So why should you get Eximetry with Unreal Engine and for your production, why do you need Eximetry? Ease of use, that's definitely number one. Simplicity, right? So you can use Unreal Engine and Eximetry for so many different types of productions, right? And uh, this is how I see it. And if you're a gamer, you're gonna be able to relate to this. If not, then probably not. But anyway, bear with me. So imagine you use Unreal Engine, you use a PC to build a shooting game, right? Like a first person shooter. Now a first person shooter is preferably played on a PC, right? Uh, like a PC gamer. You can play first-person shooters on a console, but as far as I know, like professional esports and all that, first-person shooters are played on PC, right? I'm not talking about mobile right now because I know you can play on mobile as well, but right now I'm talking about PC and console, right? So you make a first-person shooter, you might want to play it on a PC, so you don't need a console, right? But what if, let's say, you use your PC, you use Unreal Engine to make a soccer game, which you want to play with like let's say the members of your family, like you, your kids and all that, the four of you wanna sit down and play soccer together. Now you make it in your PC, you make it in Unreal Engine, but then do you really wanna play it on your PC? 
you could you could get like controllers plug it into your pc and play with your family on it and have a good time but to be honest you would rather be in the living room on a tv on a playstation everybody on the couch having a good time right it's just a better way to experience it so for me it's like it's like that it's like you could you know just use unreal engine and make things productions that are very well easily executed with unreal engine but for some other things even though you could still just use unreal engine but your life which will your life will be much easier if you use asymmetry right so um ease of use and then uh time right the, the the time that you will need to set up uh your your inputs and all that uh in unreal engine compared to the plug and play of uh, asymmetry is just, it'll save you a lot of time so ease of use uh and time you know that is like just and for someone uh, also for limited knowledge i guess and that's the third point like if you don't really want to deep dive into like blueprinting and all that in unreal engine then that is a third a reason why uh you would want to use uh, asymmetry all right so while i'm at it i'm just gonna you know answer the last question with this also with camera tracking what system are you using so we are absolutely right now only using the htc mars cam track why because it is affordable and we've compared it apple to apple with some of the way 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 more expensive tracking systems i'm not going to be naming which ones but honestly there is like zero justification for the i don't know like twenty thousand uh, dollar price difference between the two i would say the only limitation with the mars is that you can't put it uh too high the, the base stations but for most productions it is definitely enough so did i mention affordable it is super affordable and so far we've been really really happy with it so i definitely would recommend investing if you want to go into tracking go check out the mars cam track and they're going to be coming out with the fizz tracker soon so uh, you can encode lenses you know you can do like uh, zooms and all that okay so with that said uh, i think i've answered uh if there's anything that i missed you know go ahead write in the comment and i will answer it maybe in a future video so if you're interested to learn about unreal engine and asymmetry stick to the channel don't forget to subscribe to you know keep me motivated to make more videos see you guys on the next one bye